If you're stuck in your nine to five and you don't want to be a Jeffrey anymore, you see this picture on the left here of the office job. I remember that was me in Exercise for Less in Glasgow. I was stuck in my nine to five. I was constantly trying to make more money and I just couldn't get out this race. I remember every single day traveling two hours to get to this gym, two hours to get back. So it almost became a seven to seven. If you want this lifestyle on the right, this laptop lifestyle that you can achieve by the next bull run, you gotta take this shit seriously. You gotta get your DCA. So in this video, I did a Q&A. There's a lot of good questions here. We're gonna go through them one by one. There's no bad question. Hopefully this helps you out. A little bit of fun. We said we would do this every single week. So we're gonna jump in it. Why don't you talk about Casper more? First one from Johnny. I don't talk about Casper that much because I can't chase all coins. It's impossible to do that. It's not something on my radar. If you look at the chart, I mean, it's went up. So the guys that have bought this early, They've done super, super well. But the problem with Casper and any of these coins that pump up, a lot of guys are going to be buying this at peak all-time prices. Like for me, 65,000%. <laughs> I'm good, brother. I'll give that one a miss. It's a lot better for me to buy the cheap coins like the QNT, the H bar that haven't pumped that much because I know what happened in the last bull run when I started to chase coins. I lost all the money. So I would talk about it more, but I don't want to talk about a coin and then you guys buy at 65,000% at pretty much all-time highs. If this was to take a big dip, then I would look at an entry, but with anything, there's so many coins, there's 2 million literally cryptocurrencies on the market. And for you to talk about every single coin, it becomes impossible. And it's just a losing battle. So it's a great project. A lot of people have made a lot of money on it. A lot of people are going to continue to make a lot of money on it, but you can't chase everything. So that's why I don't want to talk about it. I don't know what to invest in by Josh Martin, currently a thousand ICP. So ICP is down 99%. It doesn't mean it's a bad project. A lot of people think it's going to do well but it would be more of a, how much is your income? What are you looking to achieve in the next bull run? And um, I would need some more information. So I would just say, get started with Ethereum, Bitcoin, understand you're not gonna make a TEDx on these plays, but then you start coming down the line of, you know, your altcoins and you go from there. How do you talk about profit taking, how to calculate price predictions of the coins yourself? So for me, profit taking is I'm gonna be taking profits a lot more heavier in this next bull run. In the last bull run, I was looking at plan B, Michael Saylor, Bitcoin is going to 100K, Ethereum is going to 20K, and that got me absolute wrecked. So if you are serious, I would take initial profits, maybe 20, 25% of previous all-time highs. And then I would go scale it up. Obviously have a little bit of a moon bag, but bar from that, you should not be going for these crazy predictions of HBAR $4, QNT $4,000, because imagine if QNT and HBAR go to like, QNT goes to $3,000 and HBAR goes to $3, you're like up thousands and thousands of percent, but you don't take any profits and you wait for the $4 HBAR, for example. That was me in the last bull run. You do not want to do that. Guarantee, if you're up a 10, 20 X, you got to take initial profits out because you're going to be in the exact same situation as you are right now. And you're just going to waste all this time. You're going to waste all this money. And you're going to be going back to that nine to five that you're trying to get out of. Ryan asks, after taking profits in 24 and 25 from the crypto bull run, what should you do with the money if I decide to start my own business or any other idea? So that's a great question. A lot of people want to get millionaire status or maybe you want to get $100,000 status. If you haven't had six figures in your bank account, the first six figures is it's the hardest to get, but then it's only like a 10X to a million dollars. But if you've never had 100K in your bank account, it's a very surreal moment because you can do a lot of stuff with that. Um, but what should you do after? You should always look at starting a business because you're not going to live off 100K. It's not going to last that long by the time you pay your tax. And chances are you want some sort of purpose. So for me, I started this YouTube channel. Before this, I used to do e-commerce. So I would find something that you are passionate about. But the good thing about if you hit your first 100K, 200K, you can quit the job. That buys you probably two to three to four to five years, depending on how frugal you are. And then in two to three to four years, if you can't start a business and start making money from it, there's probably a big problem. So I would look at doing some sort of business. For me, it's always been the content game. I think that's a long-term play, but a lot of people don't want to get on the camera. So find some sort of business you're passionate about and it's way easier. What I would say with some of the big players, they're probably going to be doing some sort of real estate. Like there's, once you get the money, you can't just leave it in your bank account. You have to get it funneled to something else. Obviously it's good to be having cash in your bank account, but if you have 200, 300, 400 K in your account, like you've got to get it invested because you're just going to lose to inflation. So the money has to be funneled somewhere. And I would funnel that into a side gig to some sort of business because it's going to be way better. Again, people that retire, sit on a beach, it gets pretty boring after two weeks. You're probably not going to be wanting to do that. So I would find something you're passionate about and go all in on that. What is your opinion on Desos or Desos that has a supply list in BDC and Corn? I got on it $7. I don't even know what this coin is. I've definitely heard about it. Um, no, I do know what this coin is. Somebody mentioned it in my community. So you're up a nice chunk since your $7 entry. Um, I don't have an opinion on it. I know a lot of people are very, very bullish on it. It's obviously got a great previous all-time high. 
I'm not investing in it. Again, I've got too many coins as it is to chase. So hopefully it does well. Maybe you ride it in the next bull run. But I would take profits quite vividly at around 50, 60, 70 dollars because you're already going to be up a decent amount, 10x. It would be silly to ride this back to 200 dollars and just hope for something to happen. What is your main method of cashing out to minimize fees? You don't want to be using Coinbase. Coinbase will wreck you on this sell, which means if you buy, if you sell Ethereum at $2,000, they'll actually, you know, sell it like at $1,900, if that makes sense. And then they'll F you on the conversion rate with the fees. And then if you're selling to GBP, you also got F3 base. So for me, I'm going to be using Kraken. Um, it seems to be the best one that we all talk about in our private community. I would obviously find one that suits you. Obviously, your era is going to be different. But if you're transforming to 20 to 50 different coins, of course, there's all these different fees. That's the problem with having like 50 altcoins. Yes, you have to keep an eye on them, but you've got all these different fees. So that's why I recommend 8 to 12. But I would find one exchange that suits you. Kraken seems to be the best one with the lowest fees. Look at that one if you haven't got it already. Not fully related, but am I able to attract the top quality girl after the bull run to do business or just do business with some lower top tier girls in the meantime until I'm ready to find a proper girlfriend? I mean, you do you, brother. Um, there's nothing wrong with a, with a two to three, but you don't want to be getting distracted with some females. Um, it's, it's up to you. Everybody has their own goals in that kind of game. I'm not going to go into deep in that. I would just say focus on yourself. Get some good side business started after this bull run. Ride the bull run for its worth. Make a lot of money. And then, you know, keep developing as a man. Like there's nothing where you can do. There's nothing wrong with a, a lower quality girl if you're just going to have fun with her. But you probably don't want to bring her home to your mother. That's what I would say. Which one would you prefer? Gaming coins or AI coins? And no one specifies these category determines whether a coin will do well. Um, gaming coins, probably AI is going to be a lot more riskier. But for me, Illumium would be the gaming coin I would choose. Obviously, AI coin would be Render. But I also like Robit. So Robit's a great other coin. It's obviously not on those kind of niches. But they're both going to do well. The problem with AI coins is a lot of these AI coins aren't actually AI coins. They're pretty much just scams. But you can make money off scams. If you get out the scam before, you're going to be absolutely fine. But if you ride the scam all the way down, you buy at peak prices that's when it becomes a problem so more bullish on gaming but ai will do better but it's obviously more riskier i know there's a lot of people in our community who are waiting for a second dip to buy to throw our bags would you recommend keep going to yeah so a lot of people are asking me even me personally i'm like okay should we just wait so we can buy a lot lower the problem with that is is number one is you might never get back in and then you end up buying and fomo and being the jeffrey at peak prices so for me i'm still keeping up the dca um got a little bit of dry powder on the side but if i don't get it it's just going to be funneled back to the dca aiming for 100 50k or 100k with 10k set to side yeah keep some money on the side but don't stop the dcas because if we don't drop we're dropping right now as we speak but if we don't fully drop and you're waiting for like a 35k a 20 20k 25k bitcoin obviously your altcoin is gonna be way cheaper which is what you're probably buying you might never get back in so that's the problem with that one just hope all three happen don't care about order i don't know what the question is to that jake big fan what do you think about gala games if you haven't if I haven't bought in my portfolio yet, looking to add a gaming coin, do you think it can do well in the bull run? So I still have over a million of Gala games, right? So my goal was to initially cash out with a million dollars with Gala games. I've scaled that back a little bit because I don't know if we're going to get the one dollar. So I'll be taking profits heavily around about here and then obviously letting the rest run. I still think it can hit one dollar if obviously Bitcoin, Ethereum and gaming coins go full crazy. Obviously, they've had their problems with the version 2 drop. They've had their problems with the... The, the, the lawsuits or whatever they had before so i still think it's a great project this coin will run in the bull run but i like Illumium as a better safer play um it actually has a good game but gala games I, th I think it's absolutely fine i would get some sort of gaming coin and um, because if you're just holding safer coins you're obviously not going to make as much money but obviously understand gala games is a lot more risky so yeah robot video please i made a couple um again i would look at invest in robot if you haven't already the price on Rollbit right now, I think it was taking a dump. I still haven't bought any, but we're looking to get some if it can keep going cheaper because a lot of people want to chase coins and they want to buy at all-time highs. I mean, for me, anything under 50 cents is going to be a great buy, um, or sorry, 5 cents, but I can't buy it when it's up 5,190%. It kind of pisses me off, but although it's probably just going to keep going. So I might never get in, and that's the problem with this. If you try and you know, be too cute with it, um, if you haven't got any, I would look at getting some. Um, if you have some more coins to add but for me personally if i'm going to buy a lot of this i'm going to try and wait for a lower price although i should just wait for a dca but we'll see looking at h1 xlm which we continue to buy i would buy h1 and um, personally and that would be it on this one are you excited about any gaming toys so yeah i'm still excited about gala games i think it's going to do well in this next bull run and obviously Illumium. i'm super super excited about to make a shit ton of cash and i would check it out if you have it do you think we might get a kill off like the last three struggles before from now or just going without stopping so the last bull run we obviously got the double peak and um, it's so impossible to tell 
but I'll just show you something on the screen right now. If you just want to play it super fucking easy, all you need to do is get as much active income as possible. You already know that, right? And just look at a chart like this. This would be the easiest thing to do. If you can just ignore the dips and just keep up the DCA method, you're going to be absolutely fine. Of course, it would be best to time dips, but it's near impossible to do, especially if you're brand new um, and you have a small amount of money. I would just keep it DCA. So we're getting a cool off right now as we speak, but a lot of people are waiting to buy it super, super cheap again. And I don't think we're going to get super cheap, um, but you have to do what's up for you. Thoughts on the Bloomberg prediction? Is it going to run to be a super cycle? So the problem with these news articles is they pump something and then they obviously like news articles will pay somebody to write something and then obviously all the Jeffrey starts selling and that's when the big players get in. So I would never believe or look at these predictions because again, it's one number one, it's just a prediction. But number two is you should just focus on yourself. Um, but yeah, I think that I've said many times, this is going to be the last biggest bull run before regulation happens. So yeah, I think it's going to be the best run to get in cash. The next ones aren't going to be that great, but there's still going to be coins up there. Looking at Cardano and Solana, do you think Layer 1s will shine during this bull run? So yeah, these are still great plays. The problem with these coins is they're big market caps. They're not going to be massive gains. I sold my Solana bag the other day, if you haven't seen that video, and I rolled that into Q&T. So I was up 2 to 3x. I know a lot of people were up 7x in this coin. So I sold that on the small bag, and I rolled it into Q&T at a better buy. I've still got ADA, so I think these will be absolutely fine. But you're not going to get 100 X's in these plays. It's going to be very hard. So I would just keep that in mind just because the market cap's so big. I'm still doing DCA, got a little bit late to the party. I'm waiting for a pullback. So we had this pretty much the same question. Um, I don't know if it's going to happen for Q&T and HBAR. My plan is to keep investing before they haven't a couple of months after we can still get forward five, six of this. Can you shed some light on this? How is all coins retracement and when? So if you're brand new, the, the obvious question is, oh, well, the prices are up so much since like the last couple of months. But I would just start, the, the quickest thing you can do is just start the DCA. If you're so far behind that you're just getting in right now, you've still got time, but I would start the DCA immediately. The problem with Bitcoin, et cetera, is that controls the market. So that's what I would look at first. I wouldn't be buying Bitcoin if you are a small investor, um, but altcoins will definitely crash if Bitcoin crashes. We see that all the time. So Bitcoin controls the market. When Bitcoin crashes, the altcoins will follow. So that would be good, obviously, if Bitcoin does crash. You keep the DCA for that, but just get going. Just get going. You do not need to be um, waiting if you are brand new. I would just funnel as much cash in, cash in as possible every single week if that suits you. Buy the altcoins that you decide, not what I recommend. You have to do what's good for you and then just keep going. If I'm a Jeffrey, but I identify as a female, does that mean I'm longer Jeffrey? It means you're a Jeffrey Etta and you are definitely a Jeffrey. There's that. Hey Jake, what do you think of this portfolio? I maybe should look at next, etc. Much love. 50k h bar that's great one whole theorem that's good so that's going to guarantee you gains at theorem which is nice 5k expert yeah this is a great portfolio i would maybe well i would i would add an ai coin so you have to decide what the, what that is for you and um, but i would just keep up the dca place i would add more qnt and yeah i would look at an ai coin i would maybe add Illumium or i would add more gala and um, i wouldn't add any more coins past that but yeah it's absolutely fine portfolio it depends again it's much better if we get like, what are you planning to make out of this? Because it's so much easier to tell how old are you? That's going to determine your risk. What is your plans after the bill run? Then it's way easier. But this is a great portfolio. You're going to do absolutely fine. Can you talk about mindset? How you handle the pressure of seeing your accounts blow up to crazy amounts? So that question, I did not handle that well in the last bill run. I got FOMO. I was going out to the club and I was showing people my portfolio balance to Celsius. Obviously Celsius crashed and then the Trezor that I had in there and I read this all the way back down. So. My mindset in the last run was everything's going to go up forever and the party's just getting started and then obviously we crash. So my mindset was very different to what it is right now of me guaranteeing profits. I need to get cash out. Mindset's completely changed. How can we prepare mentally for the expo run? I'm sure that me and most viewers on your channel have never seen. Yes, yeah, so once you, if you were riding like 5k, 10k up to the six figure mark, you should be taking profits because if you've never seen that in your bank account, it's going to be very surreal to actually realize the cash, right? Because yes, it's all very, very well good seeing your portfolio, your H bar, your QNT, your Bitcoin on the dollar screen and your Coinbase account, your Binance account, whatever. But until you realize that to cash, it's a different experience. So that's something I wish I could tell my younger self in 2021 is get the cash out because there's no point having all these coins on a digital asset on the screen until you could actually get the cash to your bank account. So it's going to be very surreal, but the mindset must be strong. You must have your profit taking strategy nailed down. It's not going to be exact, but if you do the 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, it's way easier. And again, what are your goals for after the bull run? I would have something on that. I know what mines are, have yours. And it's just an easy game. You don't have to think about it because if you first initial sell target on H bar, which let's just say is 40 cents, you do it. You don't just guess. So it's so much easier if you have that. And that would have saved me in the last bull run. Want to see QNT, but me thinks BTC. I don't know what you mean. Do you think Adonis mindset 
could make you a big mistake in the bull run if not taking profits last cycle and Jeffries who changed their bag now from FOMO but projects preferring better could be the real winners. So I don't really know what you mean by there but uh, of course Jeffries are bouncing around between coins that is obviously more risky but I just think the best way is just to make as much money as possible from your job or from your business whenever. Funnel in DCA plays and take profits out. If you're swapping and changing, yes I did the Solana change to the QNT but I was up so much. I didn't want to just take profits back to cash because QNT is still a discount for me. Even if it drops right now in the next but in the actual bull run, peak bull run, it's way higher for me. So yeah, um, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm going to be very heavy on profit taking. So that's all you can do. If you try and time everything perfectly, it's just so difficult and your mind space goes crazy. Yes, you might make an extra 100k, 200k and that's fine, but you might lose the whole bag. So I did that in the last one. I'm not going to do it in this one. Do you have some Casper? I don't. I think it's going to do very well. Yes, it's already done very well. I just don't have any just because I think the very first question we talked about it. So depends what price you got in. Again, it's just we all talk about coins. Bitcoin was great for the people buying at $1. Bitcoin was great for the people buying at $5. But Bitcoin wasn't great for the people buying at six ninety. Casper is going to be the same. Casper is the same for people buying at 0 0.0007. Casper is not so great right now for the people bought uh, you know, 0 0.13. Do I think it's going to go higher in the next bull run? Absolutely. But it's the same thing. So don't worry about the coin that much. Worry about your entry price because you can make money off any of these coins, whether they're complete scams or actually great coins. It doesn't matter. What matters is how much you got in and did you take profits on it? Um, because if you're like me, I don't care about the coin that much. I'm just trying to make as much money as possible in the next bull run. Jake, first of all, love the videos. Continue to watch in the bull. Thank you so much. My current portfolio is 150 QNT. That is a nice back. Congratulations on that. And this one, you're staking. That's nice. Trius is obviously great. A lot of people in our community have talked about Trius. 10K H bar. Yep, so I would exactly what you said here. Keep throwing up that H bar position. 100 Ori, 100 Sharp, 1.5K Sharps. I don't know what that is. Small portion of ETH. Okay, sure. Currently worth 31K. In the future bull run, what should I be looking at to take out of the market? In terms, would you look for a 10X from the current levels? I have a sell plan, but I want your response. So yeah, so you're probably asking me this because of this portfolio that I talk about on the channel, the 100K portfolio. And it's the same thing. So I've already got my level set. For me, you have to decide if that was to make your... 100k um or your 10x would be 331k or 310k which is a lot of money i think that's like maybe 400k usd and then you would just do the math so q and t you would have to do the math if you were going to do 20 20 20 20 what would that look like on that q and t position with your price prediction if you think q and t is going to one thousand dollars two thousand dollars you map this out and then it's way easier and then you'll be able to say okay well can i get 310k or do i have to let coins run a little bit more or do i have to add more money right chances are you're probably still decent in which is great um, and then you just do that. So that's how you work out the maths. Um, you have to uh, you have to do that for yourself. So for me, when I talk about the portfolio year, I've got all pretty much all the sell sell targets set. And then it's just an easy game. I'm still adding cash to this. I'm not going to stop because it would be silly to stop. And you just need to do that for yourself. So that's what I would say. Congratulations on the QNT bag. Definitely keep up adding the H bar position. Um, Alex Becker, just be careful of that. Make sure if it would be all, it'd be beautiful if we could know Alex Becker, like on WhatsApp. Alex, what coin are you going to talk about next? And then we buy that and then we sell because he pumps everything. But it is what it is. Don't foam and render. Um, best AI project's going to launch after having. Yeah, so I bought one. I'm not going to FOMO. Um, but yeah. Do you think NFTs will have a similar run like they did in 2021? It looks like for me. Yeah, so NFTs, I still think they're going to do well. Obviously, in 2021's run, it was fucking crazy. Um, but a lot of people, again, lost a lot of money. A lot of people are still holding their shitty NFTs to this day the problem with nfts is you can't actually sell them right it's not as liquid as boom if i want to sell bitcoin right now i want to sell render right now somebody has to buy them and a lot of people are just going to hold dead nfts and nobody's ever going to buy them so that's the problem um it's like having ip runs yeah so i think they're going to do well but just don't form one if you're interested in nfts you should be buying them at dumpster prices if you're going to be buying them in 2025 you've already lost the game hey jake market's so high right now do you think there's going to be another dip already seen the dip right now um but yeah this goes to the question I sold the Solana, rolled it into QNT, but if you're trying to be too cute with it, there's a problem. So ideal scenario, we sell, Bitcoin goes back to 30k, altcoins are trash, and then we buy back in. But what happens if we can't? It's, it's so hard to say. Maybe if a little bit makes sense for you, and go from there. I know you always talk about taking profits, but what I'm going to do is if I buy ETH at 1k and it goes to 2k and I sell half of that, technically I don't have a full ETH. Yeah, you won't have a full, full ETH, um, but you'll have that in dollar value if that makes sense. So. If I have one Ethereum and it goes to 2K, okay, let's just say Ethereum is 1K. I've got 2K now. I've still got one Ethereum. I take out 0 0.5, which is 1K. So I've got the same money, but I've got the cash, but I don't have one full Ethereum. Hopefully that makes sense. I have the following coins. Nice bag. Um, could you rate my portfolio? So you've got 80K algo, 12K near. Um, it's nice. 
it's nice. Again, it depends what your plans are for the next bull run. I would add, uh, you've got a gaming coin there. You've got Casper, which is obviously people like. Matic, which I haven't talked about in a while. You've got Ada. Yeah, you've got a great, it's a safe portfolio, bar from the GFALL, but obviously that's your risky play. I don't know what this one is, um, but yeah, probably going to be fine. It's absolutely fine. At 16, my bag is looking at 0 0.5 ETH. Congratulations, 30 q and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so the gaming coins should be decent, which crypto's pumping a lot. I would add Render. I would add Illumium. I would maybe add Gala, although a lot of people don't like it. It's hard when cryptocurrency is pumping. It's like, oh, should you hold back? But I would just keep it at least until they haven't, and then we adjust from there. So just keep it up. You're 16. You can take, afford to take a lot more risk, especially if you're living at home with your parents. So just go all mercy. Go and clean some cars. Go and wash some houses and just get as much money as you can. Honest spending because you're witness on a previous bill. What do you think Q&T can go for the upcoming bill run? You put 1,000K. I don't know. But, so minimum is going to do is previous all-time high, but I think it smashes that. I think minimum is $700. I think maximum is 40 Eight. But it depends how fast Bitcoin runs. But I'll, I'll look to take profits before 1K. I think that's pretty achievable. I'm a small investor. I don't have a big portfolio. I have five different coins. I also don't want to sell my q and uh, I think you mean $1,000. And after that, yeah, so I, it's silly to think it's going to go to 3K. But as long as you're taking the initial profits out before $1,000, you can afford to let the less run. So yeah, you've got 100, 100 q and I would say, what is your rest of your portfolio built up on? But yeah, this is absolutely fine. But I would scale this. I would scale the first sale just before this. $1,000 is usually going to be a big sell-off point. A lot of people are going to be clicking that sell button. So maybe go... 850 for me. After cashing out, where do you invest your money? That's the question. Do you buy real estate? Depends on what you have. Do you start your own business? For me, I'll be investing more money into this channel. But yeah, where do you put the rest of the money? That's the question we all want to know. Do we go in the stocks? Do we just buy Bitcoin long term? Because we need to keep the money flowing. What do you think about EMAT? I don't know what that is. Is that a coin or is that one of those NFT things? Let me just check. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, wraps up this QA. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It's a long one. I'll do one every single week. But the most important message of this is a lot of questions there are people saying, oh, should I wait for the dip? I would say keep up the DCAs. Chill the F out. Have some dry powder down. Ready to go. But bar from that, you know what to do. you got to keep up the income. You've got to keep up the portfolio building. Don't stop. Keep going. And you'll be very wealthy people in 2025. Take care.